Hey, what's up everybody and welcome. Welcome to Jazz and Marty. I'm Marty and in our previous video, which was the DIY Ric Flair boot video. Now, if you haven't seen that video, uh, check that out first, then come back here. I'll put a link to that right up here on the description box down below. But in that video, I teased something underneath a black cloak, all right? Now, if you read the thumbnail for this video and you saw the title, the cat's out of the bag or whatever, the, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a no-sew DIY Ric Flair robe 2.0. All right, now, we did, we've done a Ric Flair robe in the past and I'll put a link to that video up here on the description box down below. But this is a, a whole new thing. Um, I wore this to New York Comic Con this year and it went over pretty well. So I'm gonna show you how to do it, all right? Um, now basically, in a nutshell, um, this is gonna be a two-part video. I'm gonna show you three parts in this video and in the next video, I'll show you another three parts, all right? But don't worry, it's really easy, but I'm just gonna run you through it, all right? Uh, secondly, um, I'm just gonna tell you and kind of show you how I, I made it, but I don't have any clips of me making it because you know how when you get into the crafting thing and for the past six months, I just wanted to be focused just on this just so it can turn out correctly, all right? So uh, just bear with me on that. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's hop into this thing. So, here's what you need. All right, y'all, so the first thing you're gonna need is a cotton robe. Now, not one of those fluffy robes or robes that have, you know, the little indentations on them. It has to be a pure, straight down, flat cotton robe. Now, I found this on Amazon. I'll leave a, a link to all of my uh, things that I use in this video in the description box down below, all right? Next, you're gonna need four yards of fabric that is the same color as your rope. Now, I had to physically take my rope to a fabric store and kind of hold my rope up next to the fabric just to make sure that the color was on point and it, it, it matched 100%, all right? Next, you're gonna need four poster boards, okay? Then you're gonna need tape to tape these poster boards together. Now, these poster boards are to make our sleeve template so we can cut our sleeve template out of our fabric, all right? Next, you're gonna need glue gun and glue sticks, and you're gonna need white glitter HTV, about three to four rolls, and silver glitter uh, heat transfer vinyl, uh, three to four rolls, okay? Now, that's why we have a cotton roll, because if you use one of those fluffy rolls, or you use rolls with indentation and then you go to use your uh, heat transfer vinyl on that, it won't work, it'll turn out messed up or it may not even stick to it at all, all right? Next, you're gonna need a Cricut, you're gonna need a computer, you're gonna need a heat press, uh, you're also gonna need a stapler uh, with staples, you're also gonna need three feather boas, you're gonna need scissors, tweezers, uh, 4.6 millimeter rhinestones. You're also gonna need a uh, rhinestone E6000 glue, and you're gonna need a sequins table runner, all right? Now, that's pretty much it as far as the things you're gonna need. If I forget something, I'll pause the video here and put it down here below. Um, um, but, if I haven't told you before we hop into it, the three things that we're, go we're gonna be working on in this video are the sleeves, the butterflies, and the Nature Boy logo that goes on the back. Now the butterflies and the Nature Boy logo, I'll leave a link down below where you can go and download these files, all right? Now that's pretty much it. Let's get this thing rolling, let's get this thing started. All right, y'all, so let's imagine that this is our robe and these are our poster boards. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to tape your poster boards together. All right, now you may need 
two poster boards for this you might need four it all depends on how big you want your sleeves to be all right now but for this we only need two poster boards for this particular demonstration so you want to take your rope and you want to lay it flush with your poster board kind of making it even with the top of your poster board just kind of making a straight line okay now bring it to the edge because you want as much surface as possible now you want to you want to take your ruler and you want to make a straight line from the shoulder and the end of the sleeve area here all the way to about maybe two inches out of your actual sleeve about like right there you see this little area right here underneath the sleeve i mean underneath the armpit of the sleeve you want to bring that down so it meets this line right here now you want to connect the lines with your ruler all right, and when you finish, you should have a shape that looks like this. The next thing I did was I kind of rounded off the top of my, my sleeve. That way, when I put it on the shirt, it gives it a nice round curve. Right. Now, we can cut it out. All right, and when you finish, you should have a shape that looks like this, but, you know, larger. Now, you want to trace the shape again on another piece of poster board and you want to cut it out all right now once you finish cutting you want to tape these two pieces of poster board together all right and when you finish you should have something that looks like this now this is the complete template for our sleeve okay now now let's pretend that this is our fabric. You wanna take your sleeve template, trace it onto your fabric, and you wanna cut it out. All right, when you finish, you should have something that looks like this. Now we can fold it over, and you can use your heat press for this just to make the creases really sharp and just to keep everything together, all right? So now, once you do that, you should have something that fits nice and neat over your sleeve, kind of like this, okay? Now, this is just for demonstration purposes. Your curve here may not be this in depth. It may be way smaller than this. It's just It just depends on the size of the robe and how big you want your sleeves to be. So just make sure that you check the, the length right here between your sleeve your shoulder and the armpit of your sleeve and just make sure that that curve mimics this spacing right here okay but needless to say when you finish you should have something that looks like this all right now what you want to do is you want to take your stapler right and you want to staple from here to right here underneath the armpit of your uh you want to take your stapler and you want to staple from here, from the end of the sleeve, to the beginning of the armpit on your rope, which is right here, just to keep everything together, all right? So let's pretend the staple. All right, when you finish this, you should have something that looks like this. You see our little line staples there? All right, now the next part is you want to take your stapled sleeve and you want to flip it inside out, okay? When you flip it inside out, it'll hide the staples that you just did. But those staples will keep the sleeve nice and secure, all right? Now, finally, once you have everything stapled up pretty good, you can come over and you can insert your sleeve, the sleeve of your robe into the sleeve that you just made. And you want to use either hot glue or your E6000 glue to glue this sleeve to your roll. All right. Glue the front of it and glue the back of it. Okay. And then let it sit and it should be nice and sturdy on it.
when you finish you should have a sleeve for this side and a sleeve for that side and that's 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 pretty much it for the sleeve part all right now let's move on to the next step all right y'all so the robe generally consists of about five designs now i'm gonna pull up a picture of the original butterfly robe and those designs are this little uh squiggly line curved line type of emblem down here at the bottom a big butterfly two little butterflies on the sides and on the back you have uh the nature boy logo and then you also have this larger kind of seated butterfly look okay so i've made all of those designs and i'll put a link down below to where you can uh print these designs out uh, the only difference between mine and this in the uh, original butterfly robe is that it used two uh, versions of heat transfer vinyl, which is the white glitter heat transfer vinyl and the silver uh, glitter, glitter heat transfer vinyl. And that effect is achieved by laying down the white heat transfer vinyl first and then putting the uh, silver heat transfer vinyl on top. Okay, uh, we'll head over to Cricut Des Design Space in a minute just so I can show you how I accomplished that. Um, but basically, all I did was I took the, um, to get the smaller um, butterflies, I just used the larger butterfly and I scaled it down because um, that made the most sense. I didn't want to make a completely different butterfly for the smaller ones and then use a completely different one for the bigger ones, you know, just to make things uh, just us a wee bit easier, okay? So um, when I head over to Cricut Design Space, I'll show you these designs and then that way you can uh, know how to do them yourself, all right? All right, y'all, so we're in Cricut Design Space right now and basically the robe consists of all of these designs that you see in front of you on the screen here. All right, um, now like I said, these designs will be in a, a link down below where you can download them yourself, okay? So let's just click on this one here. Let's go to customize. Just to bring it in our des design area. All right, now this is already scaled to size for me. <coughs> Sorry. But. My large butterflies are eight inches from uh, the tip of the wing to the bottom of the wing. And my smaller butterflies are four inches from the tip of the wing to the bottom of the wing, okay? All right. So let's see if we can move this out of the way. Now this black version of this design, this is what goes on the silver glitter HTV. And this white version it is what goes on the white glitter HTV. Now, when I say layer, this is your bottom layer, which is this white glitter HTV, okay? Next, you wanna take your um, silver glitter heat transfer vinyl, and you wanna put that right on top, just to cover up, you know, the outside edges of this white. You just wanna make sure everything looks fluid as humanly possible okay now that's it's really simple that's pretty much it you want to do that for the entirety of the row for uh each of your designs the only designs that you don't have to do that for are the little curved emblem and the nature boy logo okay but for the big butterflies that goes on the back and the uh, ones that go on the front and throughout the robe, you'll want to use this silver and white uh, heat transfer vinyl for that, okay? All right, now if you're curious on how to make the, um, the use the Cricut design space and how to put your designs on your robe, check out our um, how to make a custom shirt with Cricut video, uh, AKA our DIY Batman sweatshirt video. We run through the whole process from start to finish. It's basically the same thing. We also go over layering uh, in that video. So it's all basically the same thing. Just check out that video for that tutorial on how to get from A to B with 
that. Now I used my um, Cricut heat press. That was easier for me to spread my robe out and then see my designs and then manually press my designs individually onto my robe. Um, you won't be able to really accomplish this with, I mean you can, it'll just be more difficult with one of those clamshell heat press. It's best to use this uh, Cricut heat press, it's, it, it works wonders for this process. Okay, now if you're also curious about the placement of your designs, we're going to bring up the um, picture of the original butterfly robe here. Alright, now if you're, like I said, if you're curious about the placement of your designs on your butterfly robe if you look at the pictures that are online of the original butterfly robe uh it's two of those emblems down here at the bottom about four completely going across the front then you have a big butterfly and then two little butterflies on the side and then another emblem and then uh two little butterflies on that next to that and then a big butterfly and then two little butterflies there then it's an emblem again with two little butterflies and then a big butterfly and then two little butterflies and you'll do that completely throughout the robe so two emblems big butterfly with two little butterflies on the side an emblem again with two butterflies on the side big butterfly two butterflies on the side emblem okay and then when you get here to the actual sleeve part it's just kind of spread out so it's like um big butterfly then uh emblem and then two two butterflies throughout or little butterflies throughout so like emblem here big butterfly here emblem here little butterflies to kind of fill that space it's also up to your own discretion but that's kind of what i what i did i'll put a picture here of my arm kind of spread out so you can get a good view of the sleeve and uh that's basically the nuts and bolts on the designs to put on your sleeve and the placement of said designs all right before we hop into the next step here's a quick word from a sponsor of today's video it's me y'all i am the sponsor of today's video now uh what people do know is that i have a son his name is miles he'll be one soon uh what people don't know is that i have been working on a little project okay uh if your son is like mine or if your child is like mine uh they like to get on your nerves just a little bit just a wee bit if it isn't screaming in your ear or talking while you're trying to watch your program or just climbing and you know doing all the stuff over you you know with love it tends to get on your nerves right so i have the perfect thing for you all right so the project i've been working on is entitled diy kids letter tracing now uh basically what it is it teaches your children how to uh trace their letters and their numbers and it also has uh coloring pages in it right countless hours of joy from your children and silence for you now i've um plopped this book down in front of miles and i turned away for a split second right i turned back around and he is looking like this a pure scholar baby all right so um i'm not trying to show you anything you know i'm not trying to sell you anything it feels like somebody wants to sell me something <laughs> I told you he was on to us. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if not, you know, I still love you anyway. All right. Now let's continue this video. All right. Next, it's time to separate the men from the nature boys. All right. So we are focusing on the nature boy logo that goes on the back of the robe. Now this is pretty simple pretty self-explanatory i'm gonna put a uh, image of the nature boy logo design here 
and it'll be in the link down in the description down below where you can just go and print it out and bring that into Cricut Design Space and print it out on your silver glitter heat transfer vinyl. Now, uh, basically, like I said, it's super self-explanatory. You just want to lay your robe out, find the exact placement where you want your logo, uh, Nature Boy logo to go, and then you'll use your Cricut to print it out, blah, 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 blah. Uh, press it on there. That's pretty much it. Now, just the key here, my logo is about um, 11 inches wide. All right. So, um, Cricut, if you press the little lock, the little lock um, button up at the top of your design I'll put a picture here of what that looks like it'll lock all of your your design in place that way that no matter how much you scale it or bring it up or bring it down it won't stretch it out of shape okay so like I said my logo is about 11 inches wide so if I scale the entire design to 11 inches it'll fit perfectly on the back of my robe okay now that's pretty much it. Let's move on. All right, y'all, that's pretty much it for today's video. Stick around for part two that should drop sometime after Thanksgiving or so, but that's pretty much it. Now, if you like this video, please hit that like and that share button. Head over to the Jazz and Marty Facebook page. We're always posting updates on DIY and craft videos. And we're not just on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. We're also on TikTok. We're everywhere, y'all. Just look for us. Um, and that's it. And like that, this will be the end. Peace. Look out for part two. Also, check out my book. Peace.